Well, my friends, welcome to ChristianPodcast.com. My name is Beto, and this is my wife, Millie. And we want to tell you about The Chosen announcing a promising future for Christian media with new shows, new TV shows that they're going to produce. We're going to tell you all about it. They just had a big announcement at The Chosen Con which is a yearly event that they put together for all the, the Chosen fans, which is a massive show that is now um, shown all around the world, basically, with followers in Latin America, in the United States, across the world, everywhere. It mm. has followers. It's been translated. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's been translated to many different languages, Mili. I think more than 600 different languages. So imagine that. I mean, the show has grown massively and because of all their success well they're announcing now what is next for the show so we want to tell you all about that so the first thing that we kind of knew was already in the works because they've been announcing it <laughs> since july new 2024 movie. it's a new movie called the best christmas pageant ever okay and this was produced by dallas jenkins himself so in between recording um this season the chosen season five and season four he was able to pull this out <laughs> i don't know how you know but he gave himself the time to do this and i this is based on a book millie i never read the book but i'm all about christmas movies you know i love christmas movies actually here on christianpodcast.com we have talked about other christmas movies that we've loved and i think this is going to be a hit and i think this is going to be also kind of like a classic you know that we can go back year after year as a family because that's the heart of the movie you know it's about a play where a family that maybe the people weren't so uh fond about mm -hmm. ends up you no know, playing having a major role in this play and that's all I know about the movie. So when I watch it, I'm going to be like, you know, just let the movie surprise me. But it's so cool that The Chosen is taking a first step into making this a reality. You know, just going um, a little bit of like outside the TV show that they've been doing and saying, hey, can we make a movie like a two hour movie mm. that can impact society? So they, they did it and it's called The Best Christmas Pageant Ever. So I'm super excited to see it this Christmas. And you can too. What do you think about that movie coming up, Millie? It is a family movie, Beto. Mm -hmm. We need this kind of movies on Christmas time, especially, you know, on for our free time and entertainment. We're mm -hmm. always looking for, uh, and, and we, need, we need something new, mm -hmm. you know? So that's, that's amazing. So the next announcement, Millie, five and two studios. So five and two studios. So it's no longer just the chosen producing the show now the studios themselves are called five and two alluding to the five uh fishes and two breads or the opposite i can't recall exactly which way it was but uh you know because dallas has been saying that when they started the chosen they were at their lowest uh he yeah. felt god saying just bring the loaves and the fishes and i will be in charge of the multiplication mm. you know so this is kind of what happened after the split that they had with angel studios and it's going to be interesting really to see in the future how angel studios continues you know to to deliver like amazing shows and Mo and movies mm -hmm. uh but also the chosen so i think it's it's gonna it's gonna be kind of like a healthy sort of competition in a sense yeah you know because it's christian media still i love it and uh the only thing that can happen is that we get better mm -hmm. quality christian content good for us yes. you guys fight for better quality better actors better presentations better movies uh -huh. and we will receive that <laughs> mm -hmm. maybe one day christian podcast studios <laughs> why not <laughs> you know, why right? not yeah i was thinking so i was fun. thinking that but though because yes. at the beginning of our um at the beginning of all this uh, whole thing with the Christian podcast, uh -huh. that was our dream, right? Yes. And without so big, uh, yeah, but God is big. If, mm -hmm. if our dream is not big enough, so it's not coming from God, right? Yes. We can no longer bring the, the fish and the bread because that's taken. So we need to figure another miracle analogy uh -huh. <laughs> to how uh -huh. God is going to use Christian podcast. Well, he can resurrect. Mm -hmm. Christian Ooh, there we go okay that's one so another announcement 
And this is just kind of like continuing. Yeah. <laughs> this is just kind of like <laughs> continuing what they've been doing with mm. The Chosen is that they're going to fulfill their seven season show. Mm. Right. So season five's coming up. Jesus goes into Jerusalem. The Last Supper, as we can see in this picture. Um, then what's interesting, Millie, is that the Gospels really have a lot of detail into what happens in the last hours of Jesus before going to the cross. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's a lot of information, a lot of details, a lot of storytelling in the Gospels. So that's why I think they're taking, you know, season five, six and seven for the, the final moments of Jesus in wow. a sense. You know, because there's it. so much information in the Gospels Can't versus, wait. yeah, versus the first seasons. It was, um, it, it's, I mean, it's a little harder to pull it off as because there's not so many details, mm -hmm. right, on how Jesus lived and, mm -hmm. you know, his mm -hmm. ministry and all of that. Other than, you know, he was doing miracles and the mm -hmm. stories that we, we have seen portrayed already. Mm -hmm. So that's super exciting for the chosen season five. So that's going to continue kind of like the yearly rhythm that they have. And then... Uh, season six is going to be, of course, what do you think, Millie? Dr crucifixion. The crucifixion. So season six is going to be the crucifixion. So coming out in 2026. That's, that's the painful one, but so hopeful. Mm -hmm. That's true. Painful one, but hopeful. And then, well, the last one is going to be season seven which is, of course, going to be focused on resurrection. the resurrection. And here we're showing you the uh, kind of like the graphic that they're going to be using. So same as season six, but the tomb is now open mm. and empty. Yeah. Right. And that's the, that's the main hope of every Christian, right? That Jesus rose from the dead. And because he rose, we can live new lives and be resurrected ourselves with him. Right? We, we die with him. We die with him and resurrect with him. So Having how the cool. Holy Spirit as a gift. So beautiful. Amen. Okay, so that's kind of like continuing the trend that they've been doing with The Chosen. But then they announce this, Millie, which is super exciting. The Book of Moses. Wow. So it's almost like the Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> but the Book of Moses. So this is going to be a three-season show. So based on the life of Moses. And the only thing I want to say, Mili, <laughs> which uh, I hope is going to be better than this guy that they show. I think it was season one or two when they showed this Moses that I'm going to show you. Boom. Oh, I remember him. <laughs> remember but when they showed this Moses? A, such a small uh, paper. Roll. Roll. Uh -huh. So small role. Yeah. I don't like him either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our kids when they saw I think I think he's a little bit more friendly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know which which camera to show because it's it's and just old. like right in our faces. He's, no, he was old <laughs> than that. Yeah, he might have been older. I don't know, but I mean I'm hoping they, they show just like a a buff Moses, you know, with like strong arms. Because he was a warrior, mm. right? And um I mean he lived a long life too, so who knows? how much of his lifespan they're going to cover to in this in this show but all that to say you know i think they're going to up it up from this guy <laughs> to the book of moses right mm. so book of moses is going to be three season show this is kind of like um in the works after the chosen is done okay so this is like the, one of the furthest away uh seasons mm. but it's still you know something that they're really excited about and it's coming up the book of acts which was received also by uh the way by an ovation from the people here at the conference uh it's going to be called the way like you said and this is based on the book of acts right so it's basically what happened after jesus back, went back to heaven and the early church the early beginning uh, mm -hmm. The birth, even the mm -hmm. birth of the early church. So that's what this show is going to be focused on. Wow. Super exciting, Millie. And he said that, you know, Paul, the apostle, is probably going to be shown, but he deserves a show of its own. So I don't know. He's teaching up that maybe in the future, you that know, there be might awesome. be a show based on, on Paul himself. You know, because then he wrote many books and basically uh, like a lot of the New Testament was written by Paul. So it would be epic, you know, to have a, a show like a standalone or spin-off. Imagine to know his life. Yes. 
So what do you think about this announcement, Millie? After The Chosen comes The Way, The Book of Acts. No, I'm excited for the next one you announcement too. The next you one? You know, our favorite story. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so here we go to the I next I mean, one. I'm excited for all of that. Yes. You know, I feel like so much entertainment, so much history, so much uh, things to learn through mm -hmm. this too. Yes. For our kids. Yeah. So the next one is Joseph. The story of Joseph Millie. And the amazing Technicolor dream coat, <laughs> uh, as it was uh, known in a play. So it's going to be the story of Joseph. This is before Moses. Mm -hmm. So this show is coming sooner. So I think the reason they're doing this, oh, cool. and they're going to show this probably uh, in between season six and seven, mm -hmm. is my, my mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. So that, that you want to be hooked on to, to Joseph's story and then the book of Moses that they're going to release in the future, right? So this is so cool, Millie. Some people are calling this the the chosen universe. You no, know, kind of like there was the Marvel universe. I don't know if it's uh, the equivalent in no because this is all Bible based. But I think it's in a sense it How is equivalent. The Jesus universe. The Jesus universe. I like my. Uh, I think as long as Dallas and his team are in charge of it, it can be you know the Jesus yes. universe. Yes. But. It doesn't mean that other studios even or other you know, movie producers can come up. Actually, there's there's a, another movie coming up of um, The Resurrection of the Christ by Mel Gibson. Mm -hmm. So he's doing kind of like a sequel to the movie that he did, The Passion of the Christ. That's so nice. almost like more than 20 years later, he's coming up with a sequel to that, right? So there's more Jesus shows coming up, the more which the is better, super exciting. Better. The more the better. Yes. <laughs> Okay, the Chosen so in the Wild with Adventurer Bear Grylls or Bear Grylls. This guy is amazing, Beto. I love him. He has a huge heart. I love the way he explore in other people's lives. Mm. You know, they they he pull out of information and I don't know. He he's so gifted. He mm -hmm. have the Holy Spirit. I you know I can see that on him. Mm -hmm. Yes, Bear Grylls is a follower of Jesus. He's an ex-military guy. Uh, he's phenomenal. He's known for, you know, being like on National Geographic and like all these big shows where he goes out and explores the world. He has so he's taking six people from The Chosen. One of them is going to be actually Dallas Jenkins. So he's going to be taking them on a nature trip. But I love the way you said it, Millie. He pulls out. So he uses nature to pull out what's in the heart of mm -hmm, these people. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be taken. I'm going to tell you uh, who from The Chosen. Jonathan Rumi. Okay. Dallas Jenkins. Luke Dimyan. The guy that plays um, uh, Judas. He's going to be taking Paras Patel. Matthew. Mm -hmm. Right. He's going to be taking Elizabeth Tavish. Mary Magdalene. And Noah James. Uh, Peter's brother, Andrew. All our they, favorites. Yes. Hey, Imagine. Smart. <laughs> oh, it's going to be they so good. They did it good. for a purpose. Yes. So it's basically almost like a, a podcast done in nature. Can you imagine? Right? Yeah. So it's going to be awesome, epic. He said he's already like produced a few of the episodes, but uh, some of the other people still need to come and do the, the, the recording. So I can't wait for this, Millie. I love what Bear has done in the past, and I can't wait to see how he collaborates with The Chosen and the amazing, you know, final product that is going to touch mm -hmm. many lives, mm -hmm. right? I think mm -hmm. that's that's the purpose of of these things they're doing together. And finally, Millie, the last show they announced at The Chosen Con, that it's super excited, super family friendly, The Chosen Adventures. Oh, so I'm the so chosen goes cartoon. <laughs> I love how the characters they're such alike, the real ones. Mm -hmm. Look at that, so cute. I love it. It's gonna be so awesome. So one of the the reasons they started producing this Millie is because when the chosen came out first, mm -hmm. right, uh, season number one, the first ever episode that they recorded was not episode one the one with mary magdalene being mm -hmm. redeemed it was actually episode three when jesus teaches the little children that's uh -huh. the first ever episode they recorded you know and i remember when i was watching uh, the chosen for the first time mm -hmm. i thought man that's super clever 
that they, you know, I mean, it was lower budget than, than what they have now. So for them to focus it on Jesus teaching the children, you know, because Jesus referenced that again and again in the Bible, you know, mm -hmm. let the little children come to me and uh, don't, don't reject them because the kingdom of heaven it belongs to them, right? Uh, so I think it's genius that they're using the characters that they already have Mm. to produce content that is going to inspire kids, right? So this is not necessarily a, out of the Gospels, but it, it's kind of like the book, the the cartoon show that there used to be long ago, Millie. I don't know if you ever watched it, but it was called Super Book, mm. right? Which was cartoons uh, centered around the life of Jesus, but from the perspective of kids, right? So when a kid is going through a problem, how does he encounter encounter Jesus and um, finds hope in his life and things like that? So mm -hmm. I think that's gonna what this show is gonna be centered on. Looks amazing. I mean, super high quality, super exciting for the chosen to do this. So those are the chosen's announcements, Millie, that have really promising future for. Can wait. Media and Christian, actually Christian media. Can wait. <laughs> right? Please carry up. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Can't we're wait. So, we're so excited. Yes. And Mili, I have a episode that I recorded with Daryl Leaves, one mm. of the executive producers of The Chosen. It's episode number 28 that was a good in the English stream. And it was when The Chosen was barely on like season one and they were, you know, trying to spread the word and all of that. So go and listen to it because it's so epic to see that you know, whatever they purposed, they put it in God's hands and now God is multiplying and making it happen. Yes. Right. It's so exciting. So hopeful. Uh, I can't, you know, I can't wait to see these shows and watch them as a family. So good, you know, for media and entertainment and for Christians actually producing something that uh, it's impacting the world. Really. I have seen already posts from like secular mm -hmm. uh, media outlets saying, hey, now there's going to be a Jesus universe or uh, the chosen universe or whichever way you want to call it. Uh, people are responding to this. I'm so happy you know? that that is a news. Yes. You know, so even skeptics are going to be able to at least peek and say, OK, you know, I'm going to check out these <laughs> these shows about the Bible yeah. and see what they have to say and maybe bring people to the Bible and hopefully, you know, bring them to the heart of God mm -hmm. and the reason why we have uh, the word of God in the first place. Yes. Right? Yeah. So that's super hopeful. So again, my friends, thank you so much for being here. My name is Beto and this is my wife. <laughs> Millie. Millie. And we're here with ChristianPodcast.com. We would love if you would like to subscribe, share this episode, maybe subscribe on one of our social media channels. We're on YouTube. We have English and Spanish in YouTube. We have English and Spanish on Spotify an apple podcast and then we have a combined account english and spanish on instagram combined account on tiktok and combined account on facebook okay just to make things a little bit easier because there's a lot of content you know to uh put out but we usually have episodes in english and spanish the spanish one is a little bit more of like our day-to-day, week-to-week, uh, how we follow Jesus on a daily basis. And the English one tends to be a little bit more um, interviews with authors, with people in the media industry and stuff like that. And then we do a recap in Spanish. So if you go to our website, christianpodcast.com, you're usually going to have the English version of the news and then the Spanish version of the news. Okay. So, so thankful for you to tune in and check us out. Give us your comments. What do you think about The Chosen announcing all of this new media coming out? You know, how do you feel about it? Put it in the comments, whether you're on YouTube or here on ChristianPodcast.com. We would love to hear you. And, and share. Share. So more people can know about this good news. Yes. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much. Ciao God bless. and God bless.